Hello and welcome back. Um, I'm Joy Fay. I'm an artist and teacher and this is the third part of my mini-series on abstract painting. So if you haven't seen the first two then I would suggest you go back and have a look at those and then all this will start to come together. So today's video is about how to start an abstract painting. Now there are loads of different ways that you can do this but I'm going to show you a very simple straightforward way that you can get started and start enjoying this whole wonderful process of abstract painting. So we're not going to need many things. Uh, to start with we just want some pencils, some pens, um, if you've got some crayons that's great, some charcoal, all very very simple things that you've probably already got at hand. So we're going to start there. So while I get prepared, um, you get prepared too, and then we'll make a start. Okay, so all we're going to need to begin with for this process is a few little things that I'm sure you'll have around. Uh, I've got a black marker here. Um, I've got a black pencil or a china marker, but a black pencil or an ordinary pencil um, that you might um, have around. A biro would do it. I've actually got some charcoal here and I've got a few wax crayons. You know, the whole point, this point, is just to relax and play. You know, the playtime of painting is so, so, so important. I cannot stress it enough <laughs> that if we allow ourselves to play, we haven't got that thing in the back of our head saying that it's not right because we're just playing so if we've got that as a concept then we're on the right road but before we start anything I want you to feel as if this little time is specially for you and this is your time to discover something about yourself and your creativity like we've mentioned before and to do that I just want you to relax just for a minute close your eyes Take some really nice deep breaths. Feel your intention is to be creative. And relax and focus all your attention on this moment in time. So this time is for you, for your creativity, for your expression. And just breathe into that. You know, there's lots of other things going on around us. You know, the day is this, that and the other. But now is the time for you. And it might take five minutes, it might take ten minutes, it might take half an hour, an hour, it doesn't matter. What I want you to feel is this is your time. So with that in mind, just take one of your markers, it doesn't matter what, I, I, it's irrelevant. But do something that you can make a mark with. And just relaxing, just let yourself do something, it doesn't matter what scribbles, see if you can do some different kind of strengths on it, make it really strong, make it really light, do some squares, do some triangles, do some circles, whatever comes just allow it. So I've just divided this into two just to show you. Now, on the other side, it, okay, this is just scribble, and it's great, you know, it's fine. On this side, I want you to put whatever you're drawing with. I'm actually going to change now to my china marker. On this side, I want you to put your marker on the paper, and I want you to close your eyes. <laughs> and I want you to just feel what you're doing movement-wise with your eyes closed. Just see where that goes you're just relaxing you know even do it to your breath breathing in breathing out breathing in breathing out okay isn't it lovely isn't that feeling that you get just really nice so we're not looking for results at the moment we're just looking for feelings <laughs> we're looking for relaxing and enjoying you know it's trivial but it's really important because it gets you in the right zone in your mind 
Now you can just turn that over or you can go onto another piece of paper. This is just copy paper from my copier. You know, nothing special. We're not getting into sketchbooks and all that stuff to start with. We're just going to be really easy and relaxed and gentle and discover. Now, if you feel about just doing some small marks, keep it small. Now, even though you're keeping it small, I want you to feel as if you're using your whole arm. So it's not like this. It's small, but it's your actual arm moving rather than your fingers. So everything's small. And that could be anything. I mean, just see what happens. It can be dots, it can be circles, it can be squares. But I want you to make it small. Okay? Just keep relaxed. Have some fun with it. <laughs> see where it might go. It's a real serious kind of doodle. Okay? Then... For me, on the other side here, I want you to do things that are really big. So, so you're really changing, changing it up. And again, you can do anything you want. Just see what comes. Well, we're getting sort of like Picasso and Miro going on here. <laughs> and... It's sort of developing, isn't it? You can see from the original scribble, you can see that here. Hang on, let me just make sure. The original scribble to the eyes closed, to making it smaller and then to making it bigger. Now do a combination of both. So we're going to do, see what might happen if we do both. Then put some big over the small and then some small over the big. Can you see how really interesting it's becoming? We're doing an abstract. This is a feeling abstract <laughs> and the wonderful things that occur you know, I could then do some other things with this if I wanted to. And you can do this with yours. You can fill some spaces in. You can define some bits. You can add some things in if you want. Just see what happens if you start playing. And this is how we begin. This is creative. There's no thought with it. There's no kind of preconceived idea of what it's got to look like or what it will be. It's pure creativity and enjoyment. <laughs> so you can spend quite a bit of time on messing around with this and see what might happen. Let's put some lines over here too. So we're getting into something very, very interesting and creative. So that would be stage one. And when you're doing these, do as many as you can, because you start to get into the zone of not thinking. You know, if I was thinking about this, which I find really difficult to do, by the way, you know, I don't know how I would actually think about it. If I was trying to copy it, it would be kind of really hard to do. So I don't want, I don't want to be doing that. I want to be creating. I want to see what might happen if I move my, you know, you might change how you're using the pencil. You might use it at the end. You might twist it around. You might use it right here might go slower, might go quicker, might go more gentle, might go really strong. So getting some beautiful designs in doing these things 
which I couldn't think about if I tried. <laughs> and you let go. And I really don't want you to think about what you're doing. I just want you to say, when I was doing this one before, just think about doing small marks. Then think about doing big marks. Then think about doing in the middle and then covering the small with the big, covering the big with the small. So you're kind of really loosening up and getting in touch with something inside, which has probably been hiding there for a very long time. <laughs> Just by doing these simple things, you start to move from the right hand side of the, sorry, from the left hand side of the brain to the right hand side of the brain. And the more that you do these, the more you'll understand that shift. So when we come to actually paint, we've got an idea of the two, of the left side thinking and the right side creating. Now what happens once we've started this creative process, we might then think we'd like to put some colour. So I'm just going to use some of the crayons just to start with. We'll use paints next time. So I'm thinking I might use red, but then I'm going to feel, I'm going to swap back and see where that red might go. So we start to use some, start using some colour and see what colours you choose. See what you feel, you know, it are your colours. I love this teal blue, so I'm going to put this in here. And again, I'm not thinking, I'm just having some fun with it. You know, in many respects, it's kind of art therapy, <laughs> but with a purpose, with a purpose of being creative. How much more creative can I be? I might swap colours, go to green, go over some of the colour. I just want to enjoy and have fun. Let's go to orange. And you can see how childlike they are, but that's the whole point. We want to explore being that child again without the inhibition. We're just enjoying what we're doing. And the more you can do these little fun things, when you actually come to painting, you'll have the sensation of letting go. So I've got a fun abstract drawing, very childlike, very dynamic, very energetic and fun. Great, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the date on the back of these and I'm going to keep them. So then when I've finished doing the course, we're going to go back and have a look at these and see how that has this, your, your drawings have translated into a painting. So that'll be a very interesting process. So till the next um, video comes up, do as many of these as you can and keep them. Don't throw them away. You don't have to show them to anyone. You can do it, obviously, if you want to. But keep them as your reference of where you started so we will be able to see your progress uh, later on. So, so I hope you've enjoyed doing this and you will enjoy carrying on with it. And in the next video, we're going to actually use some paint and have a play with that and see see what's going to happen but for the time being have a have some fun doing these okay if you want any more information and check out the stuff on my website then please go to joyfayartist.com you can get a nice free download of um, color mixing and also a free print and you can also check out my different courses that i've got on there but i'm not going to talk about those now because i'm concentrating on on really helping you get started here with um, your free drawing and breaking in to that really wonderful creative part of yourself. So leave me a comment, tell me how you felt about doing these things. What happened? Did you feel a shift in your brain of thinking to feeling? Did it start off thinking? 
and then you got into the creativity or did you start creating and then started thinking about it? So let me know what, what happened. <laughs> and it's all a learning experience and developing our skills. OK, so I shall look forward to seeing you on the next video. So take care and happy drawing.